Okay, we're talking about Leos today. Leos are satanic. Law enforcement officers are satanic, and we're going to go through why. So, uh, to, uh, overview of what we're going to talk about. Uh, Leos are not peace officers. Leos are operating in their private capacity. Leos are not representing the government. Leos have no immunity. Leos are satanic. Leos are working for the UN. And uh, this is not directed at peace officers or oath keepers. Uh, oath keepers know their duty. And so uh, this is only directed at Leos. Uh, there's whole groups on Facebook about oath keepers. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, they can all be a Leo or a peace officer, or almost all of them. And so uh, it's a conscious choice. Anyways. There's a guy by the name of Mark Passio, a former Satanist priest, has a bunch of natural law videos. He's got a uh, YouTube channel uh, called What on Earth is Happening? And um, he goes through, uh, 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 he guess he had to learn Latin in high school. And so he goes through uh, the derivative of words and explains all about natural laws. A pretty smart guy. He's got some great videos. I highly recommend you go and watch them. Uh, uh, anyways, some of the things he talks about is the pillars of Satanism. And, uh, you know, you have to understand, uh, you know, who better would know mo about what a Satanist is than Mark Passio, that's a former Satanist priest. And so, uh, anyways, he talks about moral relativism. There's no absolute right or wrong. Truth is relative. We just make up what's right or wrong. What's right today or right or wrong is what we decide today, and tomorrow it'll be something else. And two-thirds of the people uh, believe in moral relativism. Some of the other forms of mind control uh, uh, and pillars of Satanism are survival is the highest law of Satanism, social Darwinism, certain classes of society think they're most fit to rule, postulates the survival of the most socially ruthless, ultimate responsibility is self-preservation, eugenics, uh, uh, elite get to determine who lives or dies. That goes along with uh, Prince Philip saying, calling people like me and you useless eaters because uh, he'd like to reduce the population, kill off a bunch of us so that because uh, he thinks that uh, he'd like to have a global plantation and have it all to himself. And so, um, yeah, so this is this is the kind of mentality you have. And uh, by the way, in case those for those who don't know, Prince Philip is the Queen's husband, Queen Elizabeth's husband. So, uh, yeah, it likes to call people like you and me useless eaters. Anyway, some other forms of mind control are order takers. Uh, um, and they're responsible for all the atrocities in history. Just follow orders about thinking about whether it's a lawful order or not. And if you think about it, that's exactly right. Uh, these order takers are responsible for all of the atrocities in history. They're willing slaves. This is Mark Passio's uh, YouTube channel right there. And... Um, so we're going to talk about order takers because Leos are order takers. Uh, in the World War II crime, war crimes tribunals, all the Nazis claimed they were just following orders. Gee, that sounds like they were order takers. They either suffered death by hanging or spent the rest of their life in jail, and some of them are still hunted to, to this day. In Vietnam War, there was order takers uh, that committed the My Lai Massacre, and they got convicted of murder. Today, order takers are everywhere. Things you see every day using the satanic philosophy of moral relativism are false flag operations. The end justifies the means. Uh, um, you see these false flag operations. We're going to talk about one here recently in Charleston, and um, and uh, we'll uh, today we're going to talk about that today. Agent provocateurs. That's when they in Baltimore and, and uh, Ferguson, Missouri, they go and send people in there to go and foment people and get them to do things that are illegal so then they can go and arrest them under their statutes. Okay, so these are all uh, order takers and, and uh, Satanists. Entrapment, okay, that's when it comes out in court that that's what happened and the bail priest won't even put up with that if it comes out in court. And, uh, the, and the same thing, though, the end justifies the means. All court cases are a kangaroo court unless it's a common law court and they're satanic. The judge is playing stupid. He's working for the prosecutor. Gee, that sounds like an order taker. If you don't know the law or fail to do something properly or follow the right procedure, they sell you into slavery. That's uh, uh, and, and you're there because of a Leo, an order taker, and a statute. And they have no authority. And, you use, and they use unconstitutional uniform commercial code. Uh, um, and the Bible says that the end justifies the means is satanic. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil and put darkness for light and light for darkness. 
And this is a uh, image that I found on the internet that I think fits. Uh, shows how uh, uh, Islam and Zionism and Christianity, or uh, Roman Christianity, I should say, uh, and and Marxism, atheism, are are all linked into Satanism. You know, I, I um, um, I'm I'm not uh, positive about Judaism. I can't say for sure because I'm not really that knowledgeable about it. Uh, I, I'm not sure if Judaism is the Jewish religion or if it's some part of it. Um, and this third way, Europeism, I have no idea what that is. So, uh, but the rest of it all fits pretty good. So they need to get you into one of their satanic contracts. That's exactly what they do. Uh, uh, this is uh, the bail priest in the Supreme Court. It's impossible to prove jurisdiction exists absent a substantial nexus with the state, such as a voluntary subscription to license. All jurisdictional facts supporting claim that supposed jurisdiction exists must appear on the record of the court. And so there's got to be a contract. These, these Satanists have to get you into a contract or what they can call a contract. It's exactly what they have to do. Uh, so when did these guys become these guys, okay? Well, one of the first things that happened was um, they, uh, they started screening out intelligent people in the hiring process for their Leos. Uh, and a good example is this Jordan versus City of New London. Uh, went to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit in New York. Uh, Robert Jordan had a master's degree and he scored too high in their test. He was too intelligent. They didn't want anybody intelligent. This is actually taken from ABC News off the internet and is talking about this particular thing. And so we'll get in a little bit closer. Um, this is uh, uh, September 8, 2000. A man whose bid to become police officer was rejected after he scored too high on the intelligence test as losses appeal uh, uh, with the bill priest in the Second Circuit. And so, you know, they said basically, yeah, it's not a good idea, but they can do it. Uh, anyways, uh, when acting to enforce a statute and its subsequent amendments to the present date, the judge of Minnesota Court is acting as an administrative officer and not in a judicial capacity. Courts administering or enforcing statutes do not act judicially but merely ministerially, but merely as an extension, as an agent for the involved agency, not in a ministerial or discretionary capacity. Okay, so they're a clerk. That's what they're saying, and acting to enforce a statute. Okay, so then, if you think about it, the judge is an order taker, and uh, and a law enforcement officer, okay, is enforcing statutes, okay? That's what they're doing. That's what's going on here, boys and girls. Um, it's the accepted rule, not only in state courts, but of federal courts as well, that when a judge is enforcing administrative law, they are described as mere extensions of the administrative agency for superior reviewing purposes as a ministerial clerk for the agency, okay? So again, they're enforcing statutes, they're Leos, they're, they're uh, Leos enforce statutes, Leos are not peace officers, Leos are operating in their private capacity, and we're gonna go into that a little bit further. So, uh, um, now what's the definition of terrorism? A terrorism is a sixth rule by intimidation. Well, gee, that sounds like a Leo. You know, I mean, uh, let's look a little bit further. Taker, just an average American slob, no girlfriend, IQ 95, no power, limited education. But then he puts on an official costume and becomes authority man. And he's uh, doing the TSA groping. He's uh, generating revenue. He's got black uniforms, more intimidating, barking and reasonable orders. Uh, uh, lots of loud, scary drama. Yes, sir. Uh, click it or ticket. That's what Leos like to say. Click it or ticket. Threat of violence or jail. They walk all over the Constitution and hear the citizen this boot. And uh, uh, they go with their, okay, so this is authority, man. This is one of these satanic order takers. Uh, um, so do you feel safe now that you've got these satanic order takers running around? I don't think about that. Stay calm. Everything will be okay. We're here to help you. Oh, yeah, I'll bet you are. That's in a police state. Oh, and that's a picture in the Paltano with their takers. If we can't rape you, the terrorists win. And see here, they got someone with their legs all spread eagle. They got the... They got the uh, the, uh, the rubber gloves on and the uh, they're getting ready to stick their somebody's genitals there to, to make sure that they're, they're safe. 
they can fly. Make sure that uh, they're going to be okay. This is one of these TSA order takers. And, and this is uh, the choice. When you go in through these TSA order takers, the choice is molestation, where they get to fuel up your genitals, or they get to irradiate into an it with their uh, uh, genetically modifying ex... Uh, uh, that's the choice. The price you have to pay. See, here's some more stuff about these TSA order takers. Uh, the the Body Cavity Explorer Core. We're here for you. Yeah, I'll bet you are. See, look at that. There, she's getting that, getting that, uh, that woman there laying on that uh, table on that desk there, getting, uh, getting emanation there. Uh, think of us as your position. Your health and safety is our concern. Right. TSA cavity searchers coming sooner than you think, because profiling would offend the terrorists. Well, the terrorists. That's exactly what's going on, boys and girls. I'm gonna protect out of you. There you go. There's the terrorist doing his, doing his job. That's exactly what's going on. Uh, a warning, this is the standing army you were told not to tolerate. There's some more of the terrorists. There's some more of the terrorists doing their job. The satanic order take more of the terrorists. Police brutality, a lot like ordinary brutality, really, but the bullshit charges laid against you just cover their beating asses, so they go and trump up a bunch of petitions under their statutes. Remember, when they're enforcing statutes, they're a clerk or a court. Do you want some of this? Go ahead, report me. You'll see who will be at your front steps. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly where these people are coming from. These are satanic order Another image of it. Some more satanic order takers. These Gestapo thugs. Protect, serve, and get away with it. That's what it's all about, boys and girls. Yeah, they don't want to have any pictures taken. They want to hide their identity. Exactly what they're doing. Uh, predator or protector? These people are satanic order takers. That's exactly what they are. Everywhere, justice nowhere. Uh, um, yeah, police everywhere, justice nowhere. Let's go back to that one. Gee, that guy's nose looks like he's a snorker. <laughs> he's a snorker. <laughs> The same thing's going on in Canada. Uh, the police state now. This is all going on in Canada, too. And we're going to show UN. Say no to a police state. That's the RCMP Gestapo uh, 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 emblem they use on their uniform. New uh, from war crimes RS from Canada. These satanic order takers. Fascism in contemporary Canada. Low-led conservative government. Police government and corporations. Police brutality. This is... Uh, where the Gestapo and the RC are using some guy. Big Brother is watching you. That's an image of Harper there, by the way, for those that don't know. So if you think this is for your protection, you clearly have no idea what's going on. These are the terrorists, boys and girls. These are the ones that seek to rule by intimidation. That awkward moment when you realize you're supposed to protect us from terrorists is the terrorists, boys and girls. That's exactly what's going on, boys and girls. Number of Ameris since 9-11, 33. No, by police since 9-11, over 5,000. That's exactly what's going on, boys and girls. That's exactly what's going on. Our fearless protector, FBI, licensed to kill anyone we want, anytime, any place, with punishment. Yeah, here's another order taker. Murdered by police. You know, what's there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people over, I don't know what kind of time period. Murdered by police. U.S. police shot people in five months. That was done, and uh, this is an article on RT that was published on May 31st of this year. So, so far this year, the, the order takers have murdered uh, almost uh, 400 people in America. This, this, this is the, uh, the, not the terrorists in this picture. Terrorism is a noun to use violence and intimidation in the pursuit of political games. That's exactly what's going on, boys and girls. False flag. The immediate national news coverage. Gee, that sounds like all these, like Charleston and like uh, in Connecticut and uh, Ferguson and uh, uh, political agenda. Uh, incident inspires intentional media stories, conflict official story. No one is allowed to see the dead bodies, not that. Uh, uh, similar drills held nearby. Uh, mainstream media manics and the federal government's attention, okay? So how to spot a false flag? Well, this is taken from a spreadsheet from the uh, Federal Law Enforcement Training Center showing that uh, that in Charleston there was uh, there was actors uh, threat instructor training program going on when this Charleston uh, 
false flag operation happened. Let's get a little bit closer picture here. Uh, see, uh, uh, June 5th to uh, 15th to the 19th, that's when the Charleston, see this is, uh, uh, again, more proof that this is nothing more than just operation, because, uh, because, uh, uh, they're trying to get a race war going and trying to seize the guns. That's exactly what Obama's up to. And so judges who become involved in enforcement of mere seminal in nature act as mere clerks of the involved agency. Okay, enforcement of mere statutes, law enforcement officers, okay, order takers. Think about it, boys and girls. Uh, a minister competent to receive grants of judicial power in the legislature their acts in attempting to exercise power. Such powers are nullities. If they issue, it's a nullity. It's a fraud. It doesn't exist. If they issue an order of any kind, it's a nullity. It's a fraud. It doesn't exist. But they're hired thug order takers, that's for sure, because they're nothing but order takers. They're Satanists, boys and girls. Fake laws, fake arrests. Feel free, anybody? This is more satanic order takers. Judge works the state. The prosecutor works for the state. The police or witness works for the state. Any disputes that the police initiate on behalf of their employer are also adjudicated by their employer, where the plaintiff antagonist and also the witness also represent the same party. And since no corpus delicti, mens rea or act reus can be produced, doesn't technically qualify to be heard according to their own laws, the state therefore is indistinguishable from a criminal cartel. What's going on, boys and girls? These are Satanists. These are order takers. This is happening. This is all Book of Revelation stuff that's happening. If they have to get your consent to obtain jurisdiction, if all judges become clerks working for the prosecutor when enforcing, if a clerk masquerading as a judge can't do anything judicial, then all statutes are color of law, all statutes have to be consented to, all statutes are satanic about it, full of fraud and deception, a code is a compilation taken from statutes and the codes are worth less than a statute, and we're not going to talk too much about those today. Uh, uh, so it's a kangaroo court, that's exactly what's going on, boys and girls. And this is the presiding judge's Judge King. <laughs> Here's another kangaroo. Yes, sir, that's what goes on these days. It's a kangaroo court. Yes, sir. Yes, and this is uh, the kangaroo court that I got to deal with in Canada. Yeah, they with these Alberta Satanists. Uh, 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 these uh, court. Uh, they can leave. And the kangaroo, their kangaroo squad go out and assault people and drag them in for business to make some business with their kangaroo court. Kangaroo court is a term descriptive of a sham legal proceeding in which a person's rights are totally disregarded and in which the result is a foregone conclusion because of the bias of the court or other tribunal. A kangaroo court is a self-appointed tribunal or a mock court in which the principles of law and justice are disregarded, perverted, or parodied. A court or tribunal characterized by unauthorized procedures so as to render a fair proceeding impossible. It's a shanning, boys and girls. Leaps between facts and conclusion, a quick bounce from the court to the jail. That's exactly what they do, boys and girls. This is exactly what. So they create a statute that's full of nothing applies, nothing, uh, uh, actually, not, nobody. Uh, see the color of law video. Without their low intelligent Leo drag you into their so called court, bail priest order takers can call it a contract. That's exactly what they do. They'll send their hired thug Leos out to assault you and drag you into their so-called court so then their bail priests can call it a contract. That's these where any state proceeds against a provided individual that's well settled at the state, county, municipality, etc. weighs any immunity to counter by directs regarding the matters involved. Statutes, judge of all courts, do not act judicially and are not protected by qualified and limited immunity. So they don't have immunity, boys and girls. It does not extend to acts which are clearly outside their jurisdiction. Officers of the court have no immunity when violating a constitutional right, but they're deemed to know the law. So they have no immunity. An officer who acts in violation of the Constitution ceases to represent the government, so these Leos are not working for the government. Ignorance of the law is misconduct in anyone, least of all a sworn officer of the law. Okay, so these Leos are not where we talked about that at the beginning. Uh, uh, and it's not a court where there's no jurisdiction, there's no judge, the proceeding is as nothing, such has been the law. I'll say it. Look at my void judgment video, boys and girls, and you'll see what uh, a void judgment, all about the void judgments. 
These Leos are operating in their purity, okay? And this is taken from Tomlin's Law Dictionary, 1835 edition, volume 2. So all oaths must be lawful, allowed by common law or some statute by persons in a private cap or not duly authorized. They are quorum non judice and void, and thus administering them goes on. But so the point is, and this is actually taken from in the institutes, okay? That's Coke, three institutes, four institutes, 278. That's like since 1500, okay? This is as old as time itself. So they're operating these leading in their private capacity. They're not representing the government. They're in their private capacity. They're breaching the peace, okay? They were a peace officer. Now they're turning themselves over, and they're breaching the peace. A violation or disturbance of the public tranquility and order, the offense of breaking or disturbing public peace by any riotable, riotous, forcible, okay? So it's forcible or unlawful proceeding. And this is... Blackstone's generic term includes all violations of public peace or order and acts tending to the disturbance thereof. One who commits a breach of the peace is guilty of disorderly conduct, uh, uh, but not all disorderly breach of the peace. And that's Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition. So they are breaching the peace. And think of speeding and running a red light are not a breach of the peace. Okay? They breach the peace that goes on and they're using the federal tax lien act of 1966 the ones in the u.s at least and there's something similar i'm sure in the in the people's paradise to the north of us this communist country called canada any security interest the term security interest this has got uniform commercial code written all over it the term security interest means any person interest in property acquired by contract for the purpose of securing payment or performance of an obligation indemnifying against loss or liability uh, uh, security interest exists at any time uh, the property is in existence and the interest has been protected under local law arising out of uh, unsecured obligations okay and then b to the extent that at, at such time the holder was parted with money or money's worth so then um uh, uh so you parted you've uh, you used ious okay federal reserve notes is money's worth but it is money's worth uh, a motor vehicle, a term motor propelled vehicle, which is registered. So they see that, that government plate on there, then they can presume that uh, that's worth So they see that government plate on there, gives them uh, 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 under the 66, then uh, that, that gives them the jurisdiction, or, okay? They can presume. Uh, the term security, which are note, okay, as in Federal Reserve note, certificate or indebtedness issued by a corporation or a government or political subdivision there. Oh, gee, that sounds like it covers just about everything. It goes on, it says... Uh, talks about negotiable instruments or money. Okay, so again, they're using the Federal Tax Lien Act of 1966. Uh, law enforcement officers are not peace officers. Law operating in their private capacity. Law enforcement officers are not representing the government. Law enforcement officers have no... Law officers are satanic, and law enforcement officers are working for the UN, and we're going to cover that here in a minute. The Bible talks about these Satanists and their satanic role tells us that we need to do, and if, if that's if we do not want to be held responsible. Okay, and uh, Second Peter two and three, and through covetous those day with pain words make merch. Okay, see, think about it. They're using the uh, the you know, Okay, they're making merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not in their damnations. And in Deuteronomy twenty four and seven, if a man be father and children of Israel and them or selleth him, okay, that's exactly what they're doing. They sell you into slavery, uh, uh, and die, and thou shalt put evil away from among you. So. You know, uh, I mean, if we're Christians, if we're a Christian nation, then we got to put evil away from among us, okay? That's exactly what's got to happen. Uh, some people just need a hug around the neck with a rope. <laughs> thought that was a pretty good image. <laughs> just remember, it's never over until you see the dust of the earth mop your feet against them and their household. Uh, and this is also uh, Second First Peter 3 and 19, by which he also went and preached to the spirits in prison. Okay, so again, there's a spirit prison, and that's hell. Okay, that's called hell. day that the Lord shall punish the most high ones, and are on high in the kings of the earth, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners, are gathered in the pit, and shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall be visited. Okay, a thousand years. And uh, we're going to see about that here in a minute. But so these bail priests and stuff that you see running around today, okay, they're all going to... That's all going to happen. So that's why it's important to shake the dust of the earth from off of your feet against them, okay? You brought your testimony, and they ignored it. So then you shake the dust of the earth from off your feet against them, because then that'll make sure that they... Uh, um, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the king of the earth fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. That's Revelation 17. 1. And, uh, of course, this is my interpretation. So 
but uh, but I think it's right on the money myself. It's up to you to decide. Uh, anyways, a horny sells themselves for money. Gee, that sounds like the Vatican. Many waters, admiralty maritime law, contract law. Gee, that sounds like the Vatican too. Fornication's an illicit activity. Okay, getting IOUs for money. Okay, that's illicit. That's they shouldn't be doing that. That's fraud. And, and uh, everybody's money is kind of like being drunk. Okay, yeah. Woohoo! We're getting rich. The stock market's going crazy. Woohoo! And the kings of the earth and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains, fall on us, hide us from the throne of the wrath and the Lamb. Okay, and again, that's Revelation 6. Um, so and Obama is an antichrist. I couldn't possibly say that he's antichrist that's talked about in Revelations, but he is an antichrist, and we'll learn about it right here. And uh, 1 John 2 and 22, actually all these are found in, in the John, 1 John and 2 John. But uh, who is a liar but he that is the Christ? He is antichrist and denieth the Father and the Son. And then in 1 John 3 and 4, every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh and is not of God is that. Christ. And then uh, uh, 2 John uh, uh, 1 and 7, from the end of the world, who confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, this is a deceiver and an antichrist. And uh, Obama's a liar, first of all. So then, uh, one of the criteria is is that uh, is that there. And Obama's a liar. I mean, uh, how do you tell when he's lying? Well, his lips are moving. Every word he says is a lie. <laughs> like Slick Willie. <laughs> Anyways, he's a Muslim, okay? Which is Antichrist. Muslims do not believe that Jesus is the Christ, okay? Muslims consider Jesus to be a great prophet, and that's all. Okay, so they, they're, they're Antichrist, by definition. So they like to have their endless wars. That's what Obama's doing, okay? He's just keeping these endless wars going. It's all about business. So they had the war on drugs, then the war on crime, and now it's the war on terror. All wars are really a giant commercial transaction. All wars are really the banksters, maybe. And all warfare is satanic. Think about it. You know, what they're doing is they're getting... Uh, well, we'll talk about Goering, okay, uh, uh, Hitler's the Nuremberg trials in World War II. Naturally, the common people don't want war, but after all, it is the leaders of the country who determine the policy, and it's always simple matter to whether it's a democracy ship or a parliament or a communist dictatorship. Voice or no voice, the people can always be brought to the bidding of the leaders. See, all you have to do is tell them they're being attacked. The pacifists, for lack of patriotism and exposing the country to danger, it works the same in every country. He's 100% right. That's exactly, that's what they're doing. That's what Obama's doing right now, okay, with this all this stuff that's going on. It's it's all uh, 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 doing the warfare, okay? Satanic warfare. It was one of the Nazis who claimed they were just falling. Okay, yeah, think about it, boys and girls. He's Satanist. He's an order taker. And the Satanists fabricate false flag operations to justify force to get some mother's son in America and some other mother's son in Russia uh, uh, or elsewhere to go out to a field somewhere and kill each other so the bankster thieves can make all sorts of money. It's all about, boys and girls. That's exactly what it's all about. This is the Islamic State was instigated or created by the CIA, and that's from the Vice President of Iran, of course, uh, 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 but uh, but I think he's probably right, and there's a lot more than suggested. Matter of fact, they talk about it in this article, and uh, if you go down, it says, he said ISIS was created by the Triangle of Mossad, MI6, and the CIA uh, said the dollars from Saudi Arabia and some of the Gulf countries are responsible for the, the, the terrorist army. Saudi doesn't want to destroy ISIS because it needs to use IS for most of its satanic goals, okay? So he's, you know, he, he you know, they're satanic. They are evil. Um, and then if you go on, it says, in June, as revealed, the U.S. military had trained ISIS members at a secret base in Jordan. And following the attacks December 11th, it was reported a number of purported hijackers and tactics at the Naval Air Station in Pensacola, Florida, and the Air War College in Montgomery, Alabama. According to Newsweek, okay, so this isn't coming from him, the, the, the bought and paid for media in America. So, uh, anyways, and uh, to get into closer about this one, it says, uh, this is minute its allies fund IS. In September, the, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Martin Dempsey, told the Senate Armed Services Committee allies who fund them in January, said to be a Pakistan commander of IS, Yusuf El Salafi, confessed to law uh, enforcement agencies in Pakistan to getting us. Okay, so this, this is all just put on a big show so they can send your, your kids off to kill each other. That's exactly, and make a bunch of money. That's about war is business, boys and girls. That's exactly what it's all about. War is 
business. Ask yourself this, are you more likely to be infected or beheaded than you were six years ago or, you know, what, 15 years ago when 911 happened? And when the so-called really got underway, okay, are you yourself, are you more likely to be infected or beheaded than you were then? They're just making business. This is all about business, how to control a nation. Weapons of mass destruction. You distract people. They, they go on the media lies, okay? You can't even trust the modern-day media. This is the alternative media where you're going to get the real truth, like RT and stuff like that, and then divide. And they show here the Republicans. That's actually it's the Republicans and the demagogues, or, you know, whatever you want to call them. Actually, they're both two sides of the same coin. But it's like in, in, uh, in Charleston, it's, it's racist. They go and try and get one race divided against another. It's all about business. They want to, this is George Soros, girls. They want to get a war going. Wars, when your government tells you who the enemy is, revolution for yourself. Think about it, boys and girls. Hitler in 1936 said, I'm not a dictator. Castro in 1959 said, I'm not a dictator. And Obama said, March 1st, 2013, said, I'm not a dictator. And yet he surrounds himself with these order takers. Look at all these Gestapo thugs that he's surrounding himself with. They're all over the place. He condemns police protesters and Middle Eastern nations. And when it happens in America, he doesn't say a word. And then do you think it's any different in the people's paradise to the north of us? Not a chance. They're doing the same thing. They got order takers all over the place. And this is Harper. I want Okay, that's exactly what it is. And you Canadians, you're going to suffer the, uh, up, up the consequences, okay? Well, that's exactly what's going to happen, okay? It's, I, I am not incompetent. I'm destroying America more quickly as possible. I'm not in over my head. I'm advancing totalitarianism right under your noses. I'm not stupid. The stupid are those who fail to see the danger I bring. I'm not failing every goal I have set. I am embracing your enemies and rejecting your friends. I am acting lawlessly. I'm ignoring your constitution. I'm disobeying your laws. Your media is a bought and paid for. Your Congress is bought and paid for. They're all a bunch of Satanists. Those institutions are not removing me. I'm fundamentally transforming the United States. All this change Obama promised. Your constitution, liberty, freedom, wealth, future, and children are no longer at risk. The risk is past, already lost. When plunder becomes a way of life for a group of men in a society over the course of time, they create for themselves a legal system and a moral court that glorifies it. And that's exactly what's going on, boys and girls. Crime is treated as committing a crime. You're ruled by criminals. What do you think they're doing? That's exactly what's going on, boys and girls. That's these order takers. These Leo going on in Canada and all over the world because it's really coming from the UN. That's exactly where it's coming from, boys and girls. This is actually a FOIA request that I did to the the, the Department of Homeland Security. You notice on the, on the, on the letterhead it says, uh, a subsidiary of the Secret Service. Well, think about that, boys and girls. Homeland Security is a subsidiary of the Secret Service. So that the Homeland Department is a subsidiary of the Secret Service. The Secret Service is a subsidiary of the Department of the Treasury is owned and operated by the International and Boys and Girls. And this is found in Presidential Documents, uh, Volume 29, page, uh, number 4, page uh, 130. And 22 U.S.C. 285 to 288. Look it up, boys and girls. The States has not had a Treasury since 1921. That's that, Chapter 214 on page 654. Look it up, boys and girls. This is all coming from the U.N., boys and girls. This is your, for your protection. You clearly have no idea what's going on. This is these, these order takers, these Leos. This is exactly what's going on, boys and girls. Yeah, and that's, that's what's coming, this new world police, okay? And this is, a, see, this guy stopped getting hammered on. Okay, that's what's coming, boys and girls. And that's, that's what this Jade Helm is probably all about. They're buying up little rounds of ammunition. They're giving away technical to police agencies all over America. Who are these Satanist order takers planning on making war? You and me, boys and girls. That's exactly, there's nobody else. Think about it, boys and girls. Obama and his bankster handlers want to get WW to distract you from their own bankruptcy to impose their membership to make a bunch of fake money for their bankster buddies to get a bunch of their Satanist order takers to kill each other off uh, and reduce the Prince Philip uh, uh, wants to get rid of some of the useless eaters and they want to get the economy. They're 
fake money. That's exactly what it's all about, boys and girls. Rats paid right into their hand with their sequestration, okay? The Democrats couldn't justify that. Think about it. This is how they work together, okay? Because the Democrats, so the Republicrats did it. That's exactly what happened. And this is found 22 to 3. Satan's going to be in prison for a thousand years. Remember I talked about that? And he laid hold the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and years, and cast him into the bottom and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the field. This is what's going on. This is all Satanism. This is exactly what's going on. Satan is it, and the book of Revelation. Satan will be years. Mark Passio says that two-thirds of Americans are practicing Satanists. Everything you see going on is Satanists. Any so-called Christian church with Bible 1C3 tax-exempt satanic, tax-exempt organization masquerading as a church is a Satanist. Congress is full of Satanists. Republicans or Democrats or whatever they want to call themselves, they all work together and accomplish the same objective. The United Nations is a satanic organization. It's all about Satanism, boy. Judgment Day is coming. This is Revelations. I know thy work and tribulation and poverty, and I know the blasphemy of them, Jews or Christians or whatever, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. That's boys and girls. Nothing in the world is more dangerous than sincerity and stupidity. Uh, um, and freedom are at stake. Your silence isn't golden. It's yellow. Conspiracy theorists, someone who questions the statements of known liars. <laughs> Gee, that sounds like a Democrat, I should say. <laughs> thing they say. We now live in a nation where doctors destroy health, lawyers destroy justice, universities destroy knowledge, governments destroy freedom, the press destroys information, religion destroys morals, and our banks destroy the economy. Gee, gee, that sounds like Satanism. That's what it is, boys and girls. Born every minute, are you one of them? Be sober and vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, and as a roaring lion walketh, seeking whom he may devour. And uh, this is all about Satanism, boys and girls. This is a plaque that's um, uh, 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 on the Jamestown, on the Jamestown Island. Here, the common law of England was established on this continent with the arrival of the first settlers. The first charter granted to James the first of uh, 1606 declared that the inhabitants of the colony shall have and enjoy all liberties, franchises, and immunities as if they have been abiding and born within their great realm of England. Since Magna Carta, the common law has been the cornerstone of individual liberties, even against the crown. Summarize its, its principles have inspired the development of our system of uh, freedom and law, which is at once our dearest, proudest achievements. So common law has the remedy, boys and girls. Matter of fact, we talked about that a little while ago, where uh, in, uh, in Exodus it tells us what we have to do to people in slavery, okay? Uh, anyways... Copies of these documents can be found in my private group at Yahoo called Administrating Your Public. Vimeo videos that are uh, videos of private information shared and other court citations are available for a donation. Donations to support this work I appreciate. Gold or silver coin, but as an extremely less desirable alternative, I use Federal Reserve notes, PayPal gifts. Send me an email for particulars, and you can send me an email. Documents to engineerwin at gmail or engineerwin at Yahoo, uh, and there's a couple other email addresses up the, on the first page that uh, that you.